What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up a generic USB barcode scanner with the Raspberry Pi as well as how to create a Python script to query uh, UPC codes. So for this tutorial you're going to need a generic barcode scanner as well as a Raspberry Pi 3. Um, all the parts can be found in the description and I believe like you can pick up a uh, barcode scanner for 15 bucks. Uh, it's really important though that it has a USB to serial interface because that's how we're going to be interacting with the Pi today. And with all that said and done, let's go ahead and get started. So it's a pretty simple setup. There's nothing you really need to wire. You just take the provided uh, serial to USB cable and plug it into the bottom here. And then you can go ahead and take the USB and then plug it into any available USB port in the Pi. And that's pretty much the physical setup. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and power power on the Pi and then head over to the ter terminal to uh, set up a few things. So let's go ahead and go to the computer. So I fired up a terminal and I've SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. And the first thing I need to do is set up um, the serial interface. So to do that we're going to type sudo raspy-config. Um, we're going to go to option 5. Yeah, option 5 and go to serial right here and make sure that's enabled. Mine's already enabled. Um, so now that that's the case, you may need to reboot your Pi, so if so, go ahead. Um, after that's done, you're going to want to uh, navigate to this website called upcdatabase.org and sign up. So this is a community-driven uh, UPC uh, database. So what that means is um, you can make rest calls I believe it's a thousand a day to look up you know retail products and if they don't exist in the database and if you're a member you can submit uh, new UPC codes so go ahead and do that fill out this form and create an account and then you're gonna navigate to um, the API services link and you should be given a key so make sure you jot that key down uh, once that's done go ahead and open up the Python script um, and on line 6 here there's a place for the API key so go ahead and put your API key in there I'll go ahead and walk you through what the script essentially does so um, essentially how it works is the barcode scanner is interacting with the Pi via the serial interface so whenever you um, push the button and scan a UPC barcode you um, the Raspberry Pi interprets the device as essentially like a keyboard as a HID device so um, if we were to examine the raw output it would look like gibberish so this first function here which is barcode reader takes that output and then translates it into uh, the barcode format so I sort of source this on a form um, and then the meat of the script is essentially this UPC lookup uh, function here so this is where we enter or the API key gets passed in as well as the UPC code that's returned from the first function. So this just does the lookup um, with the UPC database API and that will return a result. So now that that's done we can go ahead and run the script. Oh I forgot to mention too that uh, there are a few dependencies here so go ahead and pip install requests if you haven't. Um, so yeah, we can head back to the terminal now and go ahead and fire up that script. So I've already uploaded it to my Raspberry Pi. So if I do an ls, you can see here uh, barcode.py 
is already here so you're gonna have to run this in sudo because the fact that it has to read from the like the HID the hid USB device requires a uh, root access so go ahead and type sudo Python barcode dot py oops sort of misspelled that and then now you're presented with a blank screen, which is which means it's just listening for input. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan a few items. So I have an empty beer ball here. I'm just gonna go ahead and scan it real quick. So there you heard the chirp, so it scanned and it returned a result. Um, as you can see, uh, there's, it tells the response from the UPC database shows a number of things such as a description and uh, I believe there's a field for retail price and whatnot. Sometimes the results are not accurate because remember it's a community driven database and also you may not even get a response or a valid response. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and scan uh, this Gorilla Glue that I have laying around. So if I scan this, you can see that there's no result essentially, so it doesn't return any valid information. So that means that this product does not exist in the database. So if you wanted to, you could add it to the database. Um, but you know, that's just a backend service. You can always link it to a different um, barcode uh, database, but some of the bigger ones you may have to pay for. But that's essentially the tutorial today. I just wanted to get you guys, you know, going with the barcode scanner so that way you could get the actual um, barcode value and do what you will with it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, leave a comment and like and subscribe. It's always appreciated and stay tuned for upcoming content. Peace.